Cummins 3.3 and now we're ready to go and build up a coolant and purge the air from the coolant system. I have a coolant and I have a funnel. This funnel we're going to use and as you can see here I have electrical tape wrapped around the neck. I show you why and yeah let's get started. And before we'll start putting coolant in, let's go and check our drain, cock valve, make sure it's closed and this one's open, let's close it, the valve, here we go, valve is closed and our upper radiator hose is connected, both clamps are tight, okay. Same on the bottom here, this hose, bottom hose, all tight, it's all in place, and here, okay. To get the air faster, I'm going to remove all those two plugs on top of the water pump, or just a 8 millimeters Allen socket. I'll just remove the upper one and uh, when we'll start filling the coolant up we'll see some coolant will start coming out we'll put a plug back and that way we'll let air get out faster okay let's remove the radiator cap here we go and uh, we have to be extremely careful with the uh, rotating blades as you can see there is a radiator cooling fan and uh, have to pay attention to that not get your hands there and because we have to go like this and get some air pushed out at the filler neck there's our thermostat housing thermostat is inside and as you remember when we're removing everything i pointed that jiggle pin and you remember it should be facing 12 degrees this is the front of the engine 12 3 6 9 and that jiggle pin will let air pass the thermostat and get up to the radiator upper tank and out at the radiator your neck yeah very important jiggle pin all assembled before you started putting everything together make sure that you go pin facing 12 o'clock it's getting warm rain stopped and seems like we might have some sun engine is not running it's pretty quiet i can talk but when engine will fire it up it will be pretty loud and uh, we're going to watch for any coolant leaks and also have to purge the air and watch for bubbles coming out okay let's climb up radiator cap is removed let's get our funnel in and make sure funnel sealed around the radiator neck okay something like that there we go Okay, I'm going to start putting coolant. Here we go. Coolant starts coming out here. Let's put a plug. Good. And I have Teflon tape. Okay, that's good. So, here we go. Coolant showed up. Let's put a plug back in place. Okay, plug is tight. Wipe the what came out. Okay, now we're going to keep filling the coolant and probably we'll go up to this level. Okay, both plugs are 
back in place and tight before we'll continue to fill it up let's check make sure we don't have any coolant leaks drips everything looks good the bottom radiator it's good i don't see any coolant coming out okay we're going to continue Okay, let's just put a little bit more like that. Perfect. Okay, we have a coolant sitting in the funnel. Oh, well, it's sealed around the radiator neck, and we filled up the radiator full and the coolant all the way up to the water pump up here, and it's all sitting here. Let's just Squeeze the hose a bit and get some air out. As you can see, it's coming. I'm just squeezing. Yeah. Oh, okay. We have a few air pockets, that's for sure. Let's open it up a bit and keep squeezing. Some air out, and before we'll start in the engines, let's go in lower radiator. Also, like that. I'm going to put a for one. Okay, but we still have some air pockets most likely inside the engine. Let's add a coolant before starting the engine. There we go. Before starting the engine, let's check make sure everything's clear. All in place, all good. And yeah, comments comes. Let's check the oil. Good. Okay, let's go crank the engine over. Keys out. Make sure no one will start the engine accidentally when we're working on it. Okay, let's. Okay. Let's start it.
Now it's quiet, way better. Okay, we got air bled from the cooling system. Let's just collect the extra coolant, put it back. We'll use it. Yeah, quite a bit of air came out. And uh, now, we have our engine ready to go, no leaks, cooling system is working, thermostat is operating properly, open it up, and coolant is hot, I could feel it, yeah, and then I'm going to move the coolant, slightly above the cells that's fine you don't want it all the way to the top but yeah inch down half an inch something like that all good okay let's put our radiator cap back make sure it's tightened and it's closed and locked like that Perfect. Never open the radiator cap when the engine is hot. Thank you so much guys for your time watching this video. If it is helpful, put a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, critics, suggestions, put everything down in the comment section below under the video. See you soon. Take care, stay safe and bye bye now.